This test consists of 30 questions which are divided into 6 parts. I will give you a short instruction at the beginning of each part. Before we get started, take a pen and paper so you can take notes while listening. Are you ready? Let's get started. Part 1. Listen to a student talking to the receptionist of a language school. Are you a new student? Yes, I am. I need to ask you some questions. Okay. What's your first name? Elisa. Elisa? How do you spell that? A-L-I-S-A. -S Thanks. And what's your surname, Elisa? Bernard. That's B-E-R-N-A-R-D. Fine. How old are you? I'm 22. Where are you from? I'm from France, from Paris, the capital city. What's your address in the U.S.? 14 Ramsey Street, Brooklyn. And your zip code? Oh, it's 11, 222. What's your phone number? My cell phone? Yes, please. It's 718 555 8545. 718 555 8545. That's great. I'll take you up to your classroom now. Your class is in room 7, and your teacher is Robert Brown. Choose the correct option. Part 2. Listen to 5 conversations and take notes. Hello, I'm Jenny. What's your name? Luis Sanchez. Are you a new student? No, I'm not. I'm the new Spanish teacher. Oh, right. I'm the English teacher. Luis, this is the teacher's room. Come in and sit down. Hi, Jenny. Hello, Aria. Aria, this is Luis Sanchez. He's the new Spanish teacher. Nice to meet you, Luis. Nice to meet you, Aria. Aria is the director of the school. Are you Spanish, Luis? No, I'm from Salta in Argentina. How do you spell Salta? S-A-L-T-A. -A. Is Salta near Buenos Aires? No, it's in the north of Argentina. What's your email address, Luis? Oh, it's Luis700 at gmail.com. There's a party at my house this weekend. I'll send you my address. Okay, thanks. See you later, goodbye. Bye, see you on Monday. No, I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? But we aren't at school tomorrow. It's Saturday. I know, but Jenny's party is tomorrow. Oh, yes. See you tomorrow, Luis. Choose the correct option.
Part 3. Listen to Samuel, Carlos, and Jack saying what they have on their table or desk. My name's Samuel. I'm an English teacher. I have a really big desk in my room. I have lots of things on the desk. I have a computer and a printer, pens and pencils, a photo of my children, an English dictionary, and a big yellow lamp. My desk is very clean. I'm Carlos and I'm a student. I have a table in my room. It isn't a very big table, but I have a lot of things on it and it isn't very clean. I have my laptop. I also have a big box of tissues, lots of Spanish magazines, and the keys to my little blue car. My name's Jack. My desk is small, at the moment it's clean, on my desk I have my computer, a small red lamp, a black file, a phone, a pair of scissors and an old calendar. Choose the correct option. Part 4. Listen to 5 conversations and take notes. Slow down Mark. You're a good driver, but this road isn't very safe. Don't worry mom. Oh, Mark. Please slow down and be more careful. I'm cold Mark. Can you turn the air conditioning off? Okay, Mom. Oh, Dad. I'm really hot now. Open your window, Megan. I'm bored. Are we there yet? Not yet. It's about 120 miles. Dad, I'm hungry. Can we stop at that cafe, Mark? I'm thirsty. Okay. Give me that music magazine. No, this is my magazine. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Be quiet, you two. Tom, listen to your iPod. Megan, read your magazine. Turn the radio on, Mark. We're here at Grandma's new house. Great. It's a beautiful house, Grandma. Thank you, Megan. Don't park here, Mark. Look at that sign. Oh, dear. Choose the correct option.
Part 5. Emma and Sophia meet in a cafe. Listen to their conversation. Hello, Monica. Hi, Emma. Sorry, I'm late. This is my sister, Sophia. Sophia, Emma is one of the teachers I work with at the school. Nice to meet you, Sophia. You too, Emma. Sit down, you too. What do you want to drink, Sophia? Oh, an espresso for me, please. Another coffee, Emma? Tea for me, please. Okay. Do you live in Lowell, Sophia? No, I live in Somerville. It's a small town near Boston. Oh, my parents live in Boston. They have a computer store downtown. What do you do? Me? I teach film studies at Boston University. Film studies? How interesting. It's an interesting job. I watch lots of movies at work. What kind of movies do you like? I don't like modern Hollywood movies. I prefer old black and white British films. What about you? I teach French and Spanish, so I like foreign films. This music is terrible. What kind of music do you like? My friends like heavy metal, but I prefer jazz. When I'm in Boston I go to a club called The Kingdom, they have great jazz nights. I go there too. I love jazz. Here's Monica with the drinks. Here you are. An espresso for you Sophia, a tea for Emma, and a latte for me. Great! Choose the correct option. Part 6. Listen to five speakers and identify the question they are answering. Yes, I do. I don't work in an office and I'm never bored. I travel a lot and I meet interesting people, and the other flight attendants are really nice. It's a great job and I earn quite a lot of money. Choose the correct option. I study Chinese and economics in college. I want to work in China one day. I think it's a really interesting country. The language is quite difficult to learn, though. I listen to Chinese songs in my car to help with my pronunciation. Choose the correct option. Yes, I do. I'm in a big office with six other people. They're very nice and we're all friends. After work we often have dinner in a restaurant or go out for a drink. I think it's important to work with nice people. Choose the correct option.
I work at home so I don't travel to work. I have an office in my house with a big desk. I have a computer and a printer in my office and hundreds of files and books. My office isn't very clean and it's difficult to find things. Choose the correct option. No, I don't. I meet my friends on Saturdays and we go shopping, or we go to the movies. On Sundays I play tennis with my sister. If it rains, we stay at home and read the newspapers. I like my job, but I only work Monday to Friday. Choose the correct option. <laughs> 